King Charles and Queen Camilla will lead the charge again at Christmas this year. Buckingham Palace has confirmed that the King and Queen will attend morning service at Sandringham Church on Christmas Day. The couple will be joined by other members of the royal family and will march together next Monday. The royal family has celebrated Christmas at Sandringham House in Norfolk for generations, and their walk to nearby St. Mary Magdalene Church on December 25 has become a holiday tradition. Last year was particularly significant as King Charles and Queen Camilla returned to the annual tradition for the first time since 2019 due to the COVID pandemic, as well as leading the new royal family for the first time. After Queen Elizabeth's death in September 2022, King Charles is keen to uphold many of his late mother's traditions, explains Carolyn Perry, author of The Corgi and the Queen, exclusively to that end, forthcoming. A holiday will likely look like this. Last year, as the royal family remained cautious about their Christmas traditions. The royal family is known to exchange gifts on Christmas Eve rather than Christmas Day, continuing a German custom introduced by Queen Victoria's Bavarian-born husband, Prince Albert, in the mid-19th century. The family is also known to exchange silly gifts instead of expensive ones. Kate Middleton reportedly once gave brother-in-law Prince Harry a plastic grow-your-own-girlfriend kit, before he met his wife, Meghan Markle. After the present exchange on Christmas Eve and the morning service at St. Mary Magdalene Church on Christmas Day, the royal family returned to Sandringham House for a traditional Christmas lunch of roast turkey, potatoes, stuffing, cranberries, bread sauce and Christmas pudding. After a festive lunch, the family attends the King's annual televised address, which airs at 3 p.m. In the UK, King Charles set the tone last year with his first Christmas speech as sovereign, filmed in the choir of St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, where the Queen and her father Prince Philip are buried. In contrast, Queen Elizabeth usually filmed her speech at Buckingham Palace, seated at a table and surrounded by framed photographs of members of the royal family. King Charles's decision to stand gave him an active stance during the speech, and he spoke with more emotion than his mother.